Hello CT students. In this tutorial, we will look a little bit into the OR statement. How to use the OR statement and what is it equivalent to and what is it not equivalent to. So look at this particular piece of pseudocode. Here we are using the OR statement in here. So let's see what this code does. We are initializing a variable called count to zero. And while pile one has more cards, so as long as there are more cards in that pile, what pile is this? What data set? So here we are looking at the part of speech. So this is the words data set we are using. And uh, as long as there are more cards left in that pile, we read the top card X in pile one. And if that top card's part of speech is noun or that part of speech is verb, then we go into this particular if block and we increment the count. So we are counting if our card is a noun or a verb. And then we move this card to pile 2 and we go on to pile 1 checking if pile 1 has more cards. So what is happening here if your card is either a noun or a verb your count will increment. That means at the end of the code, you will get the total number of nouns and verbs put together as your count variable, which is identical to this code. Here also we are initializing count to zero and we are going through the cards in pile one and we are reading the top card. And what are we doing? We are writing one if statement where we are checking if the part of speech is noun and we are incrementing count and then we are checking if the part of speech is verb and then we are in incrementing count so if your card is either a noun or a verb your count will be incremented which is exactly what is happening in this code so these two are equivalent pieces of code however this doesn't always play out like this so consider a situation like this here let's look at this piece of code now while pile one has more cards we are looking at x dot mathematics and x dot physics so this is the score data set and while pile one has more cards read the top card which is what we are doing we are picking a card from the pile and we are now checking if the mathematics score in that card is greater than 90 or the physics score in that card is greater than 90. So if at least one of them is greater than 90, so this is what an OR statement does. If you give it two conditions, A or B, it will check for at least one condition being true. If A is true and B is not, then the OR statement is still true. Similarly, if A is not true and B is true, then the OR statement is still true. This is contrasted with the AND statement where it checks for both conditions to be true. So here if the student has greater than 90 in maths but not necessarily greater than 90 in physics this OR statement is still true and we increment the count. So what is happening in this piece of pseudocode is we are counting the number of cards where at least one of maths or physics is greater than 90. If both are greater than 90 you still just count that one time. Now look at this piece of code which is exactly written like the previous example where we check for each condition independently and then we increment count. The problem here is a student who's got greater than 90 in both mathematics and in physics is going to lead to count being incremented twice. In that if statement and this if statement, both these if statements will come out true if the student has got greater than 19, both of these. So count is incremented twice here. Whereas in this piece of code, count is incremented only once, even though the student has greater than 90 scores in both subjects. So what is the key difference here is in this particular piece of code, one card can be only a noun or a verb. It can't simultaneously be both. 
in which case you could write the equivalent code like this where you check for each condition if this condition is not satisfied this might be satisfied however if this condition is satisfied this cannot be satisfied so they are exclusive to each other whereas in this code the conditions are not exclusive they can both simultaneously be true in which case splitting up the if statements like this is a bad idea because you are going to count twice instead of once so here is another example where an or statement is not equivalent to two separate if statements so here what is going on we are initializing two variables n count and v count to zero what might these be we are looking at noun and verb here so this must be the noun count and verb count in the word data set so while pile one has more cards we check if pile one has more cards we read the top card so we're basically looking at the top card of pile one and if that part of speech is a noun we increment n count so we are counting the noun here and if that part of speech is a verb we increment v count and then we move that card x to pile 2 so what will this piece of code do it will basically give you a count of nouns and count of verbs separately because n count is incremented only if the part of speech is noun and v count is incremented only if the part of speech is verb now if we tried clubbing these two if statements with an or suppose x dot part of speech is noun or x dot part of speech is verb and then we do these increment operations here the problem here is if the part of speech is noun if a word is a noun you will get into this if block and you will also increment v count likewise if a word is a verb then we are incrementing the n count along with the v count which means what you will get at the end of it is not two separate numbers now n count and v count will both come out to be equal because they are both being simultaneously incremented each single time so you will just get the sum of the number of nouns and verbs for both of these variables they both will give you the sum but that is not what is happening in this piece of code because here noun count is incremented only if the word is a noun and verb count v count is incremented only if the word is a verb so clearly these two are not identical pieces of code so in this way you should be careful about writing equivalent statements and also you should remember that an or statement will be true if even one condition is true unlike an and statement which is true only if all conditions are true thank you